My time in Australia has been full of adventures to faraway places, amazing wildlife and spectacular scenery. That's me, by the way. My name is Giles, and I've come to Australia with the ultimate goal of becoming a yacht master offshore. I would spend 16 weeks here, taking a series of courses to build my skills up to the yacht master level. I started here at Flying Fish Sail Academy at Middle Harbour Yacht Club. I began my journey aboard these Beneteau 40.7s during an RYA competent crew course. We started with the basics, things like sail trim and boat handling. This is Tiffany, Tessa, Will, and Jez, who are also in the Yachtmaster program. You will see more of them later on. It was my first time sailing a yacht, and what a place to start in. My next step was the day skipper and coastal skipper courses, which began with a week of classroom theory about passage planning, tides, navigation, and other essentials. In order to practice our classroom skills, we set out on adventures up and down the coast. On Day Skipper, we sailed north to Pitwater. We sailed downwind all the way, playing music, having a blast. We also got to see the wallabies when we went ashore. On Coastal Skipper Week, we sailed south for Botany Bay. Man overboard! Man overboard! There, we practiced man overboard drills, which were actually a lot of fun. I also got a taste of racing by doing the Twilight Racing Series in Sydney Harbour. This fabulous Australian tradition was open to all the students. We had a blast. We also got to race in the Sydney Harbour Regatta. In the middle of my course we had a week off, so we decided to take a vacation from our vacation and drive the Great Ocean Road. So where are we? Somewhere after Lorn. Lorn? It's Lorn, but they say Lawn. It's very Lorne. confusing. We've stopped to look at this. So pretty. And we're about to keep back going. I also met the local wildlife. No. Hello, Tiffany. Hello. Where are we? Uh, Canlock River. <laughs> and what is on your head? A parrot. Back on the boating front, it was time to go offshore, and for that we needed a larger boat. On this 55-foot Radford racing yacht, I set out on my mile builders to earn the miles and skipper passages essential for my Yachtmaster exam. We always met friends along the way. The weather was mostly sunny, but even when it wasn't, morale remained high. On these trips we sailed north to places like Coffs Harbour, or south to places like Eden. I capped off this amazing experience with an ocean passage to Lord Howe Island. It was a place of extreme beauty and I wish to go back someday.
On May 5th, 16 weeks after I arrived, I passed my Yachtmaster offshore exam, along with Tiffany, Tessa, Will, and Andy, who all started at the same time as me. I have had an amazing journey. I have learned both leadership and sailing skills, and I would like to give a special thank you to everyone at Flying Fish who made this amazing trip possible. I could not have had a better experience.